Hi YouTube, welcome back to the Pandemic Push-Up channel. I am very excited to share this with you. Um, I just wanted to go over a few keys that I have for gradual weight loss. Um, these are some general keys that I that I think are are crucial for uh, getting started on the path to gradual weight loss not not a quick solution or a quick fix or you know losing 20 pounds and or 30 pounds in less than 90 days but but a, a real uh, intentional plan to gradually change one's lifestyle over a sustained period which eventually leads to weight loss so um, just a little bit about my journey. Uh, obviously, I've talked about this before, but um, I've it's been a great one for me so far. Uh, my journey really began in January 2020. I know um, for the blog, the Pandemic Push Up, uh, I often refer to a pivotal moment in March 2020 when the pandemic really began with the shutdown. But I actually started my weight loss journey earnest earnestly in January of 2020 when I weighed about 200 and I weighed 244 pounds and so since that time I've lost 53.2 pounds as of this morning uh, I woke up today weighing 190.8 pounds and uh, it's been a process you know it's been it's been a a deliberate uh, gradual deliberately gradual journey to shed the weight uh, but i've tried to do so in a way that was manageable with the rest of my life because you know i have i have life you know i have a family and other obligations so um i i my journey and everybody's journey is different but for me the journey has been a gradual deliberate process uh, that that i sort of fit into everything else that's going on so um, I want to talk about what I think are some keys to gradual weight loss and, and these are again these are general terms uh, general keys uh, how they apply to one's life will vary depending on your circumstances and these aren't the only keys there are lots of keys to gradual weight loss but these are some some key points that I think are uh, definitely worth um, highlighting so first the first key is the mindset. Um, one has to get at a place where they can imagine what it would be like to achieve any goal, really. Um, in this case, it's losing weight. So if the goal is to lose weight, um, you know, I think mindset is an important key where you have to you have to see yourself losing weight. You have to see yourself eating differently see yourself exercising maybe in ways that you haven't done previously and um, then you also have to talk about it you know think about it but also talk about it talk about where you see yourself you know be verbal about how you see yourself improving how you see your future what your vision is uh, i saw myself losing weight um, and and I would talk about this with, you know, my, my, my spouse and, and some of my relatives. And, and I would say, you know, I, I, I think I'm at the point because I, I started seeing this for myself, um, a little, not too, not long after I turned 40 some years ago, um, I don't know, four or five years ago, what do you mean? 20? No, it's been more, more than four, more than four or five years, but not to date myself, but you know, around the time when I turned 40, I started thinking seriously about the the reality that, you know, I just couldn't carry this weight anymore. And but I didn't really, you know, I didn't I wasn't doing anything at the moment at that moment to actually change my, you know, my health situation. But it began for me, it began as something visual. You know, I could see myself in the future taking some action to lose weight. And I started talking about it. And yeah, it felt weird because you know, I was still, you know, at that point, I was still around 245, 250. 
but I saw it and, and, I, and, I, and I talked about it and it seemed ridiculous, but um, that uh, to me, that's important. That's an important step is, you know, seeing yourself where you want to be and beginning to profess it, to talk about it. Um, and so I did that. And I think that's a, I think mindset is, is a great first step, a great key. But then at some point, you know, you, you know, once you've developed a vision and you've talked about it, it's, it's good to go ahead and start developing a plan of, uh, you know, or with some goals of, of what it is that you want to achieve. So for instance, you know, how much weight do you want to lose? How soon do you want to lose the weight? You know, do you want to lose the weight in 30 days? You want to lose it in 60 days? Are you looking for something more long-term, something that could be more gradual and manageable within your, you know, your reality or whatever that situation is, you know, you have school, you have, you have family, you have work, um, other commitments, maybe you have health challenges, you know, what, how, how do you see yourself losing weight? How much do you want to lose? And how soon can it happen? What's realistic for you? And, and then other things like, you know, when you start thinking about exercise, you know, is, is this just about losing weight or did you want to also build some muscle? Um, these are, these are all really, these are some examples of, of important questions when one starts thinking about a plan. For me, uh, my plan was to gradually lose weight using the MyFitnessPal um, app uh, to track how much I ate on a daily basis and to also walk. You know, my, my part of my plan was nutrition, but the other part was to walk daily. Now, at the time, you know, my, my son was an infant, so I was already, you know, walking him on a daily basis. And so I, ba I basically, you know, would double the walks. So I'd go take him for a half hour walk. And so it that turned into an hour walk and sometimes an hour and a half. And, and at times, you know, I just walked without my son. Uh, but in, in eventually it became, it became uh, an important part of my plan to walk daily in addition to, um, you know, looking at how, what I ate and how much I ate on a daily basis. Now, my initial plan was to get down to around 210 pounds. And this was again, based on um, using the MyFitnessPal app. I had, um, I had put in, I used the app to put in some numbers based off of my activities. And I consider myself to be sedentary because I wasn't really doing a lot. And I put down what my, what my weight loss goal was. And based off of that, I was given a, a, um, a daily calorie limit that was roughly somewhere between two that between 1900 and 2100 calories a day and so what i did was i basically you know um, used the app to um, track my progress on a daily basis with the food that i ate to try to reach my goal of eventually losing around 210 pounds and i in terms of time limit, I didn't really have a specific time limit. I think in my head, I thought, you know, I could probably achieve this in six to eight months. Um, but, you know, it wasn't, I didn't, I didn't make the time so critical. Now, look, you know, everyone's different. Some people want to lose weight quickly for an event. It could be a wedding or a celebration, or it could be something else. I, for me, it was, you know, developing a plan for weight loss that was manageable over the long term. Like I wanted to basically change how I ate and how I looked at food long term. And so in order to do that, I thought, you know, I needed something more gradual and realistic for me. And so, so, so developing a plan is another key to gradual weight loss. And then, you know, once you, once you, you, you have your vision and you've articulated that vision, and you've, you've written it down, you developed a plan. Now you have to do something. Now, you know, it's, it, it can be difficult to get started, but at some point you have to take action. That's my third key is taking action. 
you know, once you have your, your vision, you have your plan, then you have to get started. And it's okay to start and stop or to start and, and have progress. And then, you know, you know, maybe you have a hiccup, maybe something happens that causes you to get off track for a few days. That's okay. Just get started. You know, at some point, you, you know, get over the fear of failure, get past the fear of not having everything the way you want it and just get going. You know, be confident in your vision, be confident in your plan. It doesn't mean that, it, you know, you may not have, it doesn't mean that there won't be points where you have to revisit your plan and make adjustments and changes. No one's perfect. No plan is perfect. But take what you have, take what you have, the, the energy that you put into vision, to envisioning and thinking out loud about what it is that you desire, what want, and then going a step further and actually planning requires and deserves some action. So once you get to the point where you have your vision, you've articulated it with yourself or someone, and then you've, you've sort of laid out or, or at least a sketch of what it is that you want to do, then go for it. Take action. Do something. And then comes the, the very interesting part, the part that makes the journey the journey to me. And that is the perseverance. Perseverance is, I think, um, a, a, a critical key for any kind of journey, but for gradual weight loss, it's absolutely critical because it's not easy. It's not easy to, to, to discipline oneself to do something consistently on a daily basis. And that's what, um, I had to do with, um, my nutrition. You know, I, I, I had to honestly track my daily intake of food and well, I didn't have to, I chose to, well, but I made, I made the plan and committed myself to doing this. And so, because I committed myself to it, I, I, I did it and I found it to be difficult. It was difficult for a variety of reasons. You know, there were, there were days where, you know, I didn't want to look at how much I ate because I didn't like that, you know, I was, you know, exceeding my calorie limit, but I needed to see that in order to figure out, okay, what can I do to get better? What can I do? Here are my problem areas, right? It doesn't feel good to look at areas where I have challenges, but these, this is how I get better by looking at where my challenges are, where my weaknesses are, and then figuring out a way of attacking those weaknesses and getting better. Yeah, it sucks. It sucks sometimes. Or, you know, the days where, you know, you really just want to eat and not worry about, you know, you know, tracking food or, or, you know, anything related to weight loss, you know, particularly if you're surrounded by people that have very negative perceptions of, of weight loss, all oh, diet culture and, you know, it's fat shaming and, you know, all these other things that aren't necessarily, that's not what this is about. This is about just wanting to have a little bit of a healthier lifestyle. Uh, if we trust the science, science tells us that, for instance, it's, it's healthy to have balanced meals with vegetables, fruits, grains, meats, right? I mean, we, we believe in the Food and Drug Administration, right? The FDA, um, we believe in doctors, you know, in nutritionists. I mean, these aren't, you know, these aren't, you know, people that are, you know, coming out of the swamp and, you know, developing something that is, you know, mystical, but not necessarily backed by science. No offense to people that do that sort of thing. But the point here is that, you know, this is, this is reasonable. And, and what I'm saying is that if one has a plan that involves losing weight and that person desires to lose weight, it is not going to be easy. There's no easy pathway to losing weight. And part of a gradual weight loss journey is 
having to demonstrate some form of perseverance at some point because you're going to hit a wall. I mean, you're human. Everyone, everyone that in, engages in this kind of a journey hits a wall or two or three or four or five, maybe even 10. You know, it's it's not easy and it's OK to be confronted with a difficult pathway to losing weight. You know, like for me, there were days where I felt like I was fighting my own body, like my own body was angry that I wasn't giving it enough sugar and and that I wasn't uh, indulging in my normal, you know, portions of junk food. And, you know, it was weird. It's like this was, it, it was a, this sort of existential battle that I was having with myself. But I knew that I needed to see this through. First of all, because I, I had never done it before. So I didn't know what was on the other side of this journey, this mountain that I was climbing. I didn't know because I hadn't climbed it. So I needed to climb the mountain to see what would be on the other side. And yes, there were lots of difficult patches and, you know, difficult terrain and and still is. But it's important to keep going, keep going, keep going. Perseverance is key. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so that is a, a, um, they're all, these are all keys that I think are important for graduate weight loss, but perseverance is a big one. And then finally, patience. Um, if we're talking about gradual weight loss, a key, another key point for gradual weight loss is patience. We need to give ourselves time give ourselves time, give our bodies time to adjust to the changes, the metabolic changes with, you know, how we, how we eat. If we're going from a junk food based diet to a more balanced diet of fruits, vegetables, you know, uh, grains, healthy portions, small, but healthy portions of, of good fats or meats, um, it takes time. It takes time. You know, if you're we if we're weaning ourselves off of, you know, sugary drinks, or sodas and other things, you know, cookies, you know, incessant amounts of cookies, not just a cookie here or there, but like, you know, if you're eating like, you know, three, four cookies a day and suddenly, you, you know, you, you're not eating any, well, yeah, your body's going to be in shock. It's like, well, what's going on? And that's okay. You just need to give yourself time. Give yourself time to adjust. Give yourself time to meet whatever goals you set. Um, and give yourself time to, to just learn about what it is that you're doing, what it is that you're taking on, right? Um, you know, I, I've, I feel like I'm, I've, I've learned over to, to give myself time to just appreciate how much I'm learning about nutrition. And, you know, macronutrients and micronutrients, you know, the you know, things that that are in the food, the, 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 the different types of vitamins and and nutrients that are in the food that um, help to give my blood cells, give my body what it needs to regenerate itself and to 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 continue to grow and, you know, to help my muscle building and but also my bones and, you know, my, my brain health, you know, it's, it's, it's just interesting to see how all of these components work together. And I am not, I am not a trained dietitian, trained fitness instructors, uh, trained scientist. I am just, you know, an average person that is taking some time, taking some invaluable time to understand and appreciate my health and doing it in stages um, and whether this is nutrition or it's you know trying you know muscle building of some sort it all takes time so you have to give yourself time give yourself time to adjust give yourself time to learn give yourself time to grow and to get better at losing weight um, gradual weight loss 
is antithetical to the idea that you need to lose weight at a certain time. You don't. You just need time. You just need time to to grow and to to learn. And uh, you deserve you deserve that time. So, just a recap of some keys to gradual weight loss. From my perspective, uh, they are mindset. Thinking about what it is that you want to do, where you see yourself. In this case, how and where, when you see yourself losing weight. And then making a plan, taking that vision and turning it into some sort of a plan. And from there, taking, taking action. You know, take those first steps, get out there, get started. You know, down, you know, maybe it's, you know, you use my fitness pal app or some other app or tracker to, to document, uh, you know, your numbers, how much you weigh, how much you want to weigh, what you're eating, what you need to eat, um, you know, whatever kind of fitness or activity plan that you have to complement your nutrition, you know, take action and then hang in there. The perseverance is, is paramount hang in there keep going don't give up hang in there you get down 19 times get up 20 times keep going keep punching pushing punching pushing push 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 and finally patience give yourself time patience 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 give yourself time let this become a part of your life, whatever that is, whether you're a parent or guardian or teacher, or nurse or student, you know, let this be a part of your life. Don't let it take over your life, but let it be a part of your life. Let it come over time. Allow, allow yourself to grow into this person that you see. Let, allow yourself to grow into this individual that you see losing weight over time, having a healthier lifestyle over time. Give yourself time. 